Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Welcome to another Luba episode. So I noticed last night that I couldn't contact Luba. Let me start out by saying Luba has been running on autopilot for months without a problem. Now I've been meaning to get over here and do some maintenance. You can see that it's looking pretty bad right now. I don't really even want to look underneath. I'm sure the blades are in horrible shape, but I've been meaning to get over here and fix that. Like I was saying last night, I tried to log in to Luba and tell it to start mowing, and it said Luba was offline. So I tried a few times. I called my dad. I'm like, hey, can you go outside and check on Luba? Something's wrong. And it seems that the AC adapter has died. So nothing physically wrong with Luba, but the AC adapter has quit working we assume now we're going to test this before i leave but he said he tried to we have a plug on the porch over there he tried that and then he pulled the cord inside the house and tried to plug it into one of those plugs and it still didn't work so we're going to check all that i brought another ac adapter with me from my luba at my house so that'll be a quick and easy way to see for sure if it's the ac adapter if mine works wanted to go over some channel information real quick. Now, Editor Crazy Postman may have to help me out with this because I might not remember everybody off the top of my head. So if you like the Luba Robot Lawnmower content I've been doing last year and this year, there hasn't been much this year because I made so many videos last year, what more can I do? But keep watching because I think I'm going to be getting a Yuka and that is very exciting so we're gonna to have to do a lot of videos over yuka and testing it out and seeing how well it operates but we'll see when that happens if it happens hopefully it does but like i said i've contacted a lot of other robot lawnmower manufacturers to try to get some samples sent to me since y'all like watching this kind of content but I haven't had much luck. I guess my subscriber count is not where it needs to be to play with the big boys. I'll throw on the screen here of all the different companies that have either contacted me and then not followed through or I've contacted them and they've ghosted me. I've reached out to Sunseeker. They didn't get back to me. I've reached out to Mo Raider, I think is what it's called, and they didn't get back to me. Uh, I can't think of the name of the company, but their mower's called the Rhino. They haven't got back to me, so <laughs> we may be uh, just Luba content and Yuka content here on my channel, but I've been trying, guys. I've been trying. I did have a Airseeker Tron on order on Kickstarter, but I got kind of sketched out and canceled it, so... I'm not sure. Maybe I'll reach out to them, see if they'll send me one. I was going to buy one, but yeah, I don't know. It could still be good. I'm not saying it's not good. I just, I didn't like what I was seeing necessarily, and I canceled it. So with all that out of the way, let's get to today's problem and see why OG Luba here is dead. So here's where everything started to go downhill. So this is the second outlet that we've tried and watch me hit this button here. I turned on the button, and if you see the green light blinking, it actually started working, but I hadn't caught on yet to what happened. I turned that green button on, and I tried to turn on the lamp, and it didn't come on. I'm like, why didn't the lamp come on? And then it hits me like a brick. My dad plugged in the Luba to the lamp outlet instead of to the wall. So the lamp outlet was turned off via the remote. So he thought the Luba AC adapter was not working in the second plug. And right here, I'm pretty frustrated. I'm like, look, it's working. You were wrong. I drove all the way here and it works just fine. So we tried to do a little bit of troubleshooting after this to figure out where everything went wrong. Okay, plug it in there, see what happens. Not working. This plug is off. Put that plug there. Plug the breaker. Which number is it? It's that red one there. 
The red one? I, I, that one right there is the one I always do it. Always. It just it just immediately goes back to trip as soon as I do it. As soon as I hit it, it just you hear it trip back. Listen. Yeah. It looks like it's on, but it's really not. Just instant yeah. instant trip. Well, this episode wasn't meant to be clickbait. But we can learn a couple things from each other. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with my Luba. Uh, what happened was the outside plug has gone bad. Or something on the loop that is wired to that plug. The breakers tripped. And when I go in there and turn it back on, it just instantly trips again. I uh, plugged the AC adapter inside in another plug and it works fine. The reason why I was so sure and I drove all the way here was because I told my dad to plug it in inside and try it on two different plugs to make sure that was really the problem. Well, he told me that it didn't work when it was plugged into something that wasn't turned on. Here I am acting a fool. Watch out! The AC adapter's breaking. Nothing is broke. Luba is over here charging happily now. I got Duck here with me helping me figure this out. But nothing is wrong. Luba's charging so it'll get charged back up and be able to continue mowing its vast areas of operation here. It does this backyard and if you've never seen my videos before it also does this front yard here and this is only half of it there's this much on the other side of the house as well so luba has quite a bit here to do but as of now shut up crow it's actually working no problems i'm gonna put luba's little house back on and uh i'm gonna go back home order a pizza I'm gonna drive all the way back home now I do plan to come again this weekend and do the maintenance I was talking about, but it's kind of gloomy. We got some rain spitting, so not going to do that now. We're going to leave Luba alone, and I'm going to angrily drive the 45 miles back to my house. So the reason I went ahead and made this video is so I could claim these miles for business miles. Otherwise, it was a complete waste. I'm sorry I wasted y'all's time. But it was good making a video and talking to my robot lawnmower friends. Um, it's too bad I can't get any of those other robot lawnmowers on loan or get them to send me as a review sample. I, I don't have enough money to buy them all, folks. I was going to buy the Tron, but then the other day I watched their Q&A stream where they said it's likely to be delayed. And I've watched all their videos and it just... <sighs> Their vision seems very good, but the lawnmower part, um, their, their suction idea they have, I think is a good idea, but its cut is so small. So I just don't know how it's going to cover as much area as they're advertising it to cover. I even was going to buy the bigger blades, and I was going to put it out here at mom and dad's house. And uh, see if it would do it but I just that's fifteen hundred dollars and I just don't trust them that much maybe when it gets in Amazon I will uh, be able to get it and test it out for y'all make videos with it but I don't know any of y'all robot lawnmower companies that are watching this send me something to make videos with I uh, give you fair warning I make truthful videos so uh, it takes at least five figures to buy a crazy postman. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. You could buy me for five figures. I'll say anything. But if you just send me a review sample, I'm not lying. I'm going to be the truthful crazy postman. There's some horses going on over there. This is what happens when you live in rural Oklahoma. You're driving around and there's just random horses. Sorry this episode was a bust. Hopefully uh, it was at least entertaining watching me figure out that 
oh my gosh I just drove all the way here for nothing hey look at that the creek is uh, creeks up and running we have been getting uh, quite a bit of rain we got an awesome tornado right nearby here just the other day they're saying it was one of the most impressive tornadoes on radar ever plus we had a cyclonic and an anti-cyclonic right next to each other at the same time so a lot of interesting things going on here in Oklahoma so I was debating if I'm gonna post this video or not and I think I've decided I'm gonna post it because people need to see that it is always possible for something not to be broken and you're just doing it wrong <laughs> also another decision I had to make was do I put this on the main channel or do I put this on the extra channel I decided to go ahead and put it on the main channel because that's where all my Luba followers are but I do have my crazy postman extra channel and if you want to follow me there I just do less important things there like this channel's kind of serious tech reviews and more serious stuff the other channel could be vlog type could be less important things you know that doesn't need to be in front of my almost 5,000 subscribers it can just be on the goof off channel just me having fun so duck and i appreciate y'all watching today and we will see y'all in the next one